Hi everyone and welcome to Fossil of the Week. My name is Hunter Schrader. We have a real treat for you guys this week. We have one of my absolute favorite groups of animals ever and those are crocodilians. This here is Lydiosuchus. Now before we get into him specifically, I wanna give you guys a little bit of lore on me personally. Now before I started here at Black Hills Institute, I used to be a professional zookeeper and my specialty was reptiles, especially crocodilians. If my editor, who is also me, would be so kind as to put some photos up to show this. I used to work with saltwater crocodiles, Nile crocodiles, slender snouted crocodiles, American alligators, and then a, a few other ones. But boy am I glad I never had to work with one of these guys. Lydiosuchus here is mostly found in the Judith River formation. And this one though actually is the only one to my knowledge that has been found in the Cloverleaf formation of Montana, which makes him pretty unique. He was found at the end of the Cretaceous period. And let's get a little closer look at some parts of him. The first thing you'll probably notice about Lydiosuchus here is that it looks extremely similar to modern crocodilians. And that's because the crocodilians as a group really haven't changed that much since the Cretaceous period, relatively. Now what I want to point out here is this is where the eyes would be and these are the nostrils. What this allows is for them to be almost completely submerged with just their nostrils and their eyes out of the water, which makes it really easy for them to sneak up on prey. I've seen this myself as what I've been cleaning. They've tried to sneak up on me and I've only almost lost my leg twice. That's a joke guys, it was three times. Modern crocodilians with their eyes have the ability to suck them back into their skull. And the reason they would do that is to help conceal themselves or to help protect their eyes. It's a really cool evolutionary advantage. Well, that's Lydiosuchus for you. We don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna end this fossil of the week right here. But before you go, please don't go. I wanna give a special shout out to Peyton Lasik. He's the camera guy you guys have seen, well, not seen in all these videos. And I just wanna give a special shout out to him because he is the other half of this team right here that brings you guys these videos. So Peyton. Oh, uh, hi everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm usually the face behind the camera, but I guess I get a shout out this week for once. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what else to put here. So I'm gonna put it back to the face who's normally in front of the camera. Oh, back on me, all right. So. That's our cameraman, Peyton Lasik. Thank you guys very much, and we hope you have a good day.